I went to work for the United States Information Agency because Kennedy had appointed Edward R. Murrow as its director. And of course, he was the big journalist at that time. And there were four of us at CBS who followed him. Working with the renowned journalist Edward R. Murrow wasn't the only big event for Barry. His first overseas assignment took him to Bangladesh for two years. It might have been the other side of the moon as far as I was concerned. It was very, very different. Even though I had been born and grew up in Asia, it was nothing like I had experienced in China. Uh, but I enjoyed the two years there. And I did a lot of uh, adventuring of my own in addition to my job. And one of them was uh, taking a package to a priest up on the Indian border in Assam. And what is it that I'm bringing there? I'm bringing a crossbow that they had ordered from Sears. The reason Father Marx ordered the crossbow is because the government had confiscated his shotgun. He had fired it to try to shoot a leopard that was preying on the flocks of villagers there. And the shot set off a border incident between the Pakistanis and Indians. And they had a big investigation and they confiscated his shotgun. Anyhow, I bring him this crossbow and they insist that I stay there and stay with them for a couple of days and they're gonna feed me. Well, I had brought canned goods with me. They insisted on feeding me. So when I was leaving, I said, look, I've got all these canned goods. I'm sure you can use them. Please take them. And I said, here's a bottle of whiskey, Johnny Walker that I was carrying with me. And I said, you can have the whiskey too. They were very thankful. And then there's Father Marx is standing there and he looks like he's just kind of embarrassed. He wants to say something. And I said, what is it, Father? What's on your mind? And he says, I saw something in your sleeping bag when you unpacked it, and I wondered if we could have it. I said, anything, you can have anything. I said, what is it? He said, we saw you were carrying a roll of toilet paper. We haven't had any in seven years. <laughs> So I was glad to give them some toilet paper, keeping just enough for me to make it on the way back for two days through the jungle. 